Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome. Welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness, and I just want to go into a little flow. I um, might touch a leap briefly on the eclipse and all of the energies that we're feeling. I did want to just share a brief message around that. One of the biggest messages that my guides keep sharing is relax. Relax, go to it when you want. Um, just relax. Allow the energies to carry us into a different pattern. Let go of the fear based around all of the stuff that we're reading about, all of the things that are happening inside the earth, all of the earth changes, the changes on the sun, the catastrophe messages um the messages about everything's going to change you know from this point forward great and if something is going to happen how are we going to respond to it and the guides keep saying what will we do differently would we want to be in a place of fear when we're interacting with our loved ones do we want to freak everybody out do we want to freak ourselves out <laughs> there's something about this energy right now where it's a collective ripple of excitement and fear and that can be fun um, as far as it raises our cortisol and it gets us excited in, in some ways but it's not sustainable it's not sustainable and it has a two it's a high and a low so the guides are really encouraging us to get into a place of coherence get in a place of stability so that when the frequencies come through which they're already here because really the eclipse from one perspective has already happened because in the in the energy of time right or past present and future it's all now but in the earthly realm and in the dimensions that we are existing in in matter in physical matter we are getting ready to move through a period of time in which it is um inviting in a new reality so we're being invited to balance that, to be that. It's almost like we're collaborating with the energies rather than clamoring to get away from or to change an outcome. We are, it's not about us changing the outcome of what's being predicted. It's about us letting go of our fear around those predictions. It's not what it's all about, but that's what my guides are saying and start to feel into our own field, start to see, does that ring true for me? Because each of us is experiencing reality differently. I do not experience my everyday life the same way as my neighbor does. Even though we live in the same neighborhood, under the same sun, in this, on the same planet, our realities are nothing alike. So that's just something to keep in mind and when we start to do that, it's, but we do feel the collective, you know, we can feel that energy. I can feel if my neighbor is upset or um, frustrated, I'm picking up on that. So the guides are like, if we can all pick up on that energy and kind of clear out the fear and just come into a place of coherence and compassion and, and really connecting with the earth and the children and the, the grandparents and, you know, coming together as humanity, um, I'm just hearing embracing each other in our differences, but also recognizing our own patterns, our own feelings, our own cycles, that's going to be part of what stabilizes the field. In the aftermath, I'm hearing the afterbath, afterglow of whatever is happening with let's say the sun and we've got mercury in retrograde and we've got solar flares and we've got earthquakes well part of the reason is it's how we grow it's part of what gives us a boost energetically and it isn't always sunshine and rainbows but what it is it, well, technically it is because sunshine is always there and the rainbows are a frequency of light or a band of light that we can or cannot see based on the the air and the anyways my point is they're always there but we can choose to see them or we can choose to only see the negative so it's kind of just balance let go of the fear so that was what um came through first all right let me just pause for a second okay let me just go into a little bit of flow i'll get about 10 minutes 
So as we prepare for this next chapter or phase development, as we look at the phases of the moon and the phases of the sun, we phase out of one era and we move into a higher era of light quotient, if you will. We allow for a broader bandwidth to flow into our own um, reality structure. And each and every one of us carries within us a signature, a code, a frequency or a bandwidth that responds to the alchemy that is happening through the airwaves right now or in the air or in the waves of the photonic light and it adjustments that are occurring. And we are being invited to see the landscape from a different perspective for all will shift from one perspective. After this initial initiation, we could call it, there is a huge amount of energy being um, encapsulating the earth right now. And what we choose to do with it will determine how it is that we birth the next phase of our reality. And as we phase into this and lock, um, I'm hearing lock hearts, we can allow ourselves to feel into and through the dark. For there are many people who will feel the adjustments and not quite understand how to adjust to this, um, I keep hearing photonic emergence coming through plan words, an emulsification one might say, or a mercification that is being, um, we are being enveloped within. And as we are hugged with this light and uplifted, some will not feel comfortable being uplifted. Some will feel as if they are carrying too much weight or they are afraid to let go of what it is they are carrying with them. And this is where we as a human collective can support one another by us supporting ourselves by us falling out, following our hearts and not falling into a social and economic structure based on old socialization um, patterns and, and uh, structures. For all is being reorganized and we must call on our skills of organization in order to I'm, I'm playing with this because I'm hearing organs like our organs and our body are responding to this. Um, I'm hearing organization. There's a play on words here. I'll come back to that later. So we would invite you to open. Allow this idea of having to shield yourself. By the way, this is not a message to stare at the sun. I'm just saying that they're, they're just showing me opening like a flower. Allow ourselves to be fully revealed. Allow the full reveal to unfold so we can feel into what we're being told and emerge renewed in the essence of our new view and not trapped and ensnared within this view of, I'm hearing, political obsession, political recession, economic diversion, tactical, socioeconomic political, um, just all of those schemes is what I'm hearing. Just let it go. For as we unfold into this new frequency, we can feel the newness of what is being offered. And while some may not be able to accept what is being offered, there are those of you who are able to fully embrace this energy and there will be those pockets of energetics that are highly um, helpful in assisting those who came here to do just that. So I'm being shown that there are a group of people and individuals who came here just to be part of the ground crew. I'm hearing the initiates to help those being initiated into this new frequency and energy to balance and stabilize. And I would say all of us to a certain extent can do that, but some people, they're really good at it. They're better at it than others. And that's not a hierarchy. It's just their gift. If you are one of those individuals, we invite you to recognize that you have already laid down the groundwork for this. You've already organized your frequencies and patterns in order to stabilize this influx of juiciness. 
in order to stabilize this influx of chaotic um, frequencies that at times can seem topsy turvy, yet at the same time, you are already on top, if you will, of that which is coming up. You're already aware and you've already adjusted in such a way that you can feel the fear and yet not get pulled into that. Um, I'm just seeing the cauldron, cauldron, boil and bubble. You're floating above it, yet grounded. And this is what we are being encouraged to continue to um, feel into. It may not always be that we are able to be that particular um, role player, or we are not always able to, to hold that particular geometry, yet it will become easier and easier, easier as long as we open and relax with more this uh, uh, um, i'm seeing hearing more efficiency this will give us more ability to be efficient and to efficiently weave and co-create in these energies in a much more stable and focalized energetic renewal pattern we bring some of these words to the table and we will do another video on this because it is valuable. It is not as if this one moment in time is inaccessible beyond this one moment in time for we are accessing all moments in time now. Yet this is a combination in the earthly realms of a frequency induction point. It is a combination of all the pieces of the puzzle that give us a sense of who we really are. It gives us more awareness around the sense of who we really are. For those who have not ever thought about the sun or thought about the earth are being shaken to their core right now, literally. For the earth is moving in order to stabilize the movement that we as a collective energy are creating. I'm hearing it's like a stampede and the earth is like, uh-oh, gotta make more room, uh-oh, gotta adjust, gotta release this energy so that we can all work together more in unity. And so this is the short version of what we are being invited to feel into. So for the next few hours, the next few days, the next few weeks, we would invite you to breathe. We would invite you to tune into the frequency of whatever it is that you are feeling in this moment and recognize that you have access and the capability to integrate any type of um, fear or uh, questionability around our reality, balance out those questions with bigger questions of things like, what do I wish to see? What is it within me that can expand more? How can I use this as a resource or tool for my own personal growth and expansion? How can I be more resourceful and feel this as a resourceful opportunity? See it with new eyes to see, and this will allow for the frequency to flood the senses and give one a sense of more clarity. This allows us to change and um, I'm seeing move in out of shuffle into a little bit more of an organized um, fractal, if you will. So we end on this note. We invite you to listen to music, to feel the music that is bubbling up within. Music is has many different meanings. Almost done. And these meanings are important. Okay, this is all plain words. Sound, frequency, tone, music, important. What we're porting in, what we're plugging into. Just being aware of that. And whatever we can do to relax, allow, renew, and feel expansive and ground. So that's the short message. I'll do a longer one maybe tomorrow. So in love and light, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Take a deep breath and let's enjoy this as much as we can. Um, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity in this lifetime to enjoy it. So, all right, much love.
even if it's only for an hour. I'm just thinking of the Reiki, you know, let me for this moment be my highest vibration. Let me just be a source of light. And if we're feeling lost, if we're feeling shadow, if we're feeling that energy come up, that's okay. Allow it to come up and do something to help that integrate, not ignore it, but I'm hearing digest it, move through it, integrate it. And I'm just hearing be still and know. So all right, to be continued, guys. Namaste.